So Stephen Whitesides with Greenbrier Percussion here to talk to you about this Mapex Black Panther snare drum. Its greatest strength is it's a very bright, harmonious snare drum. It really sings. It's very tonal. It's very lively. And yet it's got a strong attack, which is its other great strength. Check out the attack in the center. But as you get close to the edge, you'll hear this thing sing and sustain for a long time and play a lot of bright, singy, pingy overtones. It's about a three second sustain. That's pretty long for a snare. I really like the adjustability on the switch as well. Another great strength is that you have a uh, clicking mechanism as you twist and turn on your snare strainer adjustment. And it's a very smooth process turning your snare wires on and off with the switch here. That's pretty cool. The hardware is robust. The tube lugs look classic and professional. And you'll notice that they're tapered, kind of like a uh, candlestick holder. Uh, looks really cool. Looks very classic which is interesting for a Mapex drum. They're kind of a younger, new vibe company. Uh, this is very classic, standard-looking snare drum. I, I really enjoy this, and because of that, it would go well with a lot of my kits. So um, I'd enjoy having this in my snare drum collection to be able to take around and um, have sitting on the side for when I hit a gig, when I really want a bright, lively snare that's going to sing over top of uh, a band or play right along with uh, the kind of sounds that a guitarist might be doing if they're playing something similarly bright and you want to match. Uh, other great strengths of this drum are it feels like it's a uh, very heavyweight meaty snare drum so when i do a lot of press rolls and stuff i feel like there's some depth underneath it's got a good low range even though it's, it's not very pronounced uh, it's balanced really well uh, other than that though the only thing i might mention about this as a weakness uh, is the overtones if you want them controlled if you want to use this for your main all the time snare uh, might require a moon gel or something to assist or a change of the head the remo weather king coated ambassador that comes with the snare drum is a great uh, head for controlling overtones. Usually, you might need something a little extra, like uh, Evans uh, EC2 Reverse Dot Coated, to further dampen overtones out. If you want this to be your principal all-the-time snare, and then throw a uh, like a single ply coated on it for when you want it to sing out a little more and uh, change this one up periodically. Uh, good applications would be a uh, loud venue playing with you know bright. Uh, punk rock, rock and roll sounding guitar licks, the snare is going to blend in really well with that, and it's going to pair really well with dry, higher end cymbals like the Zildjian K hybrids we used in the uh, Mapex Black Panther drum set video we did. Uh, I thought they sounded really good playing back and forth against this particular snare. Uh, it is probably the most extremely bright wooden snare that I've played on in a video to date. I find that really interesting. This is a good piece to add to your snare collection if you're a guy who plays more than one snare and you want something really different and interesting. It won't sound like any other snare you have. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. If you need to see any specs on the snare, check out there. You can read them. Thanks.